Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Python commonly asked coding interview questions, we have been discussing about a few common questions that are being asked very frequently in the interviews. So in this video, let's start discussing about how to find minimum and maximum value in a list without using an inbuilt function. Okay, so finding a uh, minimum and maximum value in a list with using an inbuilt function is quite easy. Like you can use the inbuilt function min or max to actually find the uh, solution for it. Where else uh, interviewer generally gives this question to understand now how good you are at, at the ba basic level of programming. Like so this the complexity level of the program is very simple. So he or she wants to test your basic programming understanding. So, so this is one of the uh, not frequently asked question in recent time. So let's start discussing about how we can perform this. Okay, so uh, first we will, uh, now as usual, we'll define a function. Um, so let me type min max. So min and max, okay. And uh, now let's, let's, let's have a list, okay. So let's have a list. Uh, let me take that list as num equal to, uh, say, 27, comma, Okay, any number like 31 and 9 comma 5 comma uh, 23 comma 12 comma 16 yeah, any 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 uh, list you can frame by yourself so once this is done now first let's uh, focus on how to find the minimum value in a list without using an inbuilt function okay so uh, to start what we need to do is we have to in order to find minimum value in this list so we have to actually iterate through each and every item in a list right so in order to do that let me put in a for loop so for a in num or a in num and what i'm planning to do is basically uh, i'm trying to assign the initial value to a minimum value so min so in before starting i'm uh, defining a min value equal to uh, num of zero so in this case uh, basically i'm taking the first element as the minimum so in this example let me have 27 as the minimum so i've just declared the the first uh, value of in my minimum value as my min va minimum value okay so once this is done I, i'll continue with my for loop so what i'm going to do is if a is less than min And I'm going to assign that minimum value equal to a as simple as that. Okay, so the uh, solution is quite simple, but uh, it might look complex. But uh, if, if you start implementing it, it's quite easy. So let me uh, print this value uh, now. Finally, I'm printing um, so minimum value is minimum value is. I'm just calling the min value okay so um, now let me run and show this and see what happens okay so, oops okay i didn't call my function so min max yeah now it found the minimum value minimum value is five so here in this list the minimum value is five let me append another smaller value uh, let's say two it found to okay so this is how you can easily find the minimum value in a list so in order to understand this in very uh, detail like let me put a debug pointer here let's see what happens at the each and every step okay so that you will have a better understanding <coughs> so let me debug this and okay so now as, as i said earlier so my initial minimum value is going to be my first value like the num of zero uh, zeroth index is 27 so you can clearly see here the minimum value is assigned to 27 and then um, let me continue with the for loop so for a so uh, for a in num so first value 27 will go into my value if a is less than minimum means so here uh, tw if 27 is less than 27 so Obviously, it will uh, not pass, so it will continue with the loop. 
and here again it will check 27 with 31 so if you see it will check 27 against 31 so obviously it is not greater um, and uh, it continues the next item next item is next value is 9 so now if you see 9 is smaller than 27 so what it will do is it will assign the value 9 into min right in the next iteration if you see the min value is uh, 9 so whenever it finds a smaller value it, it will assign it to this min so let me continue with this loop so uh, next is 5 when I okay whenever uh, a smaller value is found it will come into this if condition and then now if I debug it again now the minimum value goes to 5 again uh, the minimum value will remain 5 because all the LA subsequent elements are greater like 23 12 16 are actually greater so it will uh, the min value will still remain 5 at the last point whenever it comes to 2 now the min value will exchange so now if you see the min value is uh, 2 so this is how you can easily find uh, a minimum value in a list without using any inbuilt function okay so this is uh, how you can find a minimum value let's see uh, how to find a maximum value in this list so this is something again very similar only only change is going to be the change in condition so again i'm gonna have max equal to uh, <clears throat> num of zero and for a in num the same condition basically for a in num if a is greater than max so, so there we wanted to find this minimum value so it was less than minimum value here it is actually greater than now I'm gonna send maxim value equal to i <coughs> so as simple as that and finally I'm printing print max value is no max right So yeah, it easily found the minimum and maximum value. So the minimum value is 2 and maximum value is 31 in this list. So if I want to embed any other larger value, say 73, 74, I want, let me, yes. now it found the maximum value as 74. Okay, so this is how you can easily find uh, a minimum and maximum value in a list without using an inbuilt function. Okay, so, so that's all what I want to cover as part of this video. In case if you found any better solution than this, you can let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.